Hi, this is James. I drive Pro 3 car number 7. And I'm about to show a few simple uh, moves and uh, maneuvers, I should say, in the AIM program to help you understand your data better. So the first thing I'm going to do is load the software. And as you can see, uh, in this view that I have here, these are all the sessions that I have on my computer from Portland International Raceway. This uh, is the data I have that includes the chicane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up two sessions. The first I'm going to look at is some of my data. So if I scroll down and say, okay, I want to open up Saturday uh, on uh, August 18th. And I want to see somebody else who qualified on August 18th. So I'll open up Dan Gorillas as well, um, which I can select as well by holding the control key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open those two tests right now and it's going to show our data uh, potentially next to each other. So I click on open test and all of these screens that are loading are just different views that I have. But the one that I predominantly use and the one that everyone usually sees me look at when I work with them is this screen. Now one of the things you may notice immediately is that the data lines are not lining up. This is uh, traditionally happens when the start finish uh, or marker um, for where the uh, the track starts and finishes different on both consoles. I know that Dan in this instance uses an MXL Pista and I use an AIM Solo, so they're not lining up. This is easy to fix. If you scroll down at the bottom, there's a tab called Lap Manager. What this will show is it will show the laps in the session and you can see that the tabs on the top are for both drivers. So Dan's session is open there and mine is open there. So what we can do here is I can go in and I can say, okay, I want to be able to force uh, the same marker or the same start finish, uh, if you will, on both laps. And so I can click on this button that says GPS lap insert. I go to the tab that says new start finish from a GPS track database. And you can see here in my database, I have two Portland Raceway or Portland Chicane. Either works, but I'm going to click Portland Chicane and I'm going to click confirm selection. What this has done now is it's put a red dot or a red square here where start finish should be. If I click continue it'll show me the revised lap times and if I click confirm it will set those uh, into the system. Just say my lap time successfully calculated. Now I just did Dan's but I need to do mine so I'm going to click on my tab. These haven't been calibrated yet so I'm going to do the same thing up to the right hand side. Click on GPS lap insert. Go to the start finish. I'm going to click Portland again again. Confirm selection see it's put the same red square in the same place click on continue it's recalibrated my laps that are here and as I click on confirm it will readjust the lap times for me and um, what you'll find is if I now click back on that measures graph which is the graph chart that we looked at at the very beginning now you can see that the lines are much more evenly lined up you can see that it's readjusted my lap time to a 1 minute 30.0 and Dan saw 1 minute 29.5 and you can see where um, the lines are the same and they're different to start being able to do some kind of analysis with this data. So that is the GPS lap insert and I tend to use this on every single session that I do just to make sure there's no room for error when it comes to uh, both files being on exactly the same even if they look very close uh, on the uh, charts at the start.